Okay, so I'm going to show you how to take an observation on the sun, get a zenith angle to the sun, and uh, an azimuth, a true azimuth to the sun and a zenith angle. Zenith angle is uh, defined from uh, vertic vertically upward is zero to the horizontal being 90 degrees, and the sun will be somewhere in, the, in that range. We're going to measure very precisely uh, those two angles. I'm at NGS Station Sunrise on Signal Mountain, so I have a known latitude and known longitude coordinates here on the Earth, and I have an elevation that's, uh, that is said to be 18, uh, 1,818 feet. So we have the precise exact location of this brass marker. We're set up over the brass marker. Uh, within the, uh, over the triangle that marks, marks this location precisely. And there's no, uh, no one who will argue with you over the published coordinates of, of this station. The first thing to do with the two second theodolite, you want to level the instrument, which is done by turning the leveling screws in opposite directions and there are a number of uh, videos that can explain to you how to do this. Uh, we turn the machine 90 degrees and we re-level the bubble. And we turn back to the same. Re-level the bubble. Check it a final time. So I have the theodolite level. I want to check the height of the instrument against this point right here. We're four foot ten inches, a little bit less than five feet. Check the optical plumb, make sure that you are inside the triangle. Then I want to backside a known azimuth mark, which is azimuth mark number two, published on the uh, NGS data site. Before I take my backside, I want to block backside azimuth into the machine. I'll hit hold, which puts 2 degrees and 46 minutes for the back sight. Back sighting the known station.
So I have two degrees and 46 minutes locked into the machine. I'm going to push hold again to unfree that azimuth. And now the direction that I turn the ma machine is going to be a true azimuth. So you never look at the sun. What we're going to do is position the telescope. position the telescope by turning it in the direction of the sun focused on a sheet of paper about eight inches away or a board something that will not damage your eyes You'll focus the eye crosshairs on this sheet of paper or this board, whatever you're going to use. I'm going to focus the sun. Okay, you will mark the time and the reading. This is a third quadrant reading and the, the degrees are 57 degrees 48 minutes and 12 seconds and the heading is 84 degrees 55 minutes and 28 seconds. The reading is in the third quadrant. Do you have the time? Tom, time? 9.28. Okay, 9.28. So, we know precisely the time, we know precisely the location, we know precisely the angle that the sun is at, and the, the direction to that. So we can compute the coordinates of a line in three-dimensional space that's normally taught in 10th grade algebra. And if we have another station way up uh, north, 
and take an, a simultaneous reading at the same time, we get two lines of known uh, position of the sun concurrently. We have a plane. If we get another shot from, let's say, Las Vegas, we can uh, put a third line through the plane that's defined by the first two lines. And in that manner, you can calculate very easily the distance to the sun. Uh, we'll try to do that uh, in the coming weeks and uh, let you know the results of, of that experiment. I appreciate your watching this video. Thanks.